Good morning. It is 1127 uh, a.m. on Sunday, August 14th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and Linda is barking at something out the window. Uh, this is five more minutes. <laughs> um, so today I thought I would talk a little bit about CISO.com, which is S-E-E-S-O.com. And it's basically kind of like, um, it, you know, it's, it's a online streaming uh, content site, kind of like Hulu or or Netflix, I guess, but it's exclusively focused on comedy stuff. They have a bunch of archived comedy stuff, but also they're producing a bunch of new stuff. And I'd been hearing ads for it on some of my favorite podcasts. And so I finally decided to check it out. And boy, I tell you, I'm super satisfied so far. I've watched a whole bunch of a show called Harmon Quest, which is Dan Harmon, the uh creator of a community and involved in Rick and Morty. And basically it's him and a couple of uh, stand-up comic buddies. And they're, they're doing one of these uh, live RPG session things where they've got a game master there and he's guiding them through an adventure and he's telling them everything that happens. But what the actual show is, is it's cutting back and forth between the footage of them on stage and then an actual animated cartoon of their characters on their actual adventure. And it is super fun. They have a different guest star every week and, or it's not even every week. It's just every, each episode because there's 10 episodes. They're all up. And I just uh, found that super entertaining. Uh, there's also uh, a, several shows that I've watched one episode each of just to kind of try them out. And I think all of them are ones that I would, uh, plan to continue watching. Uh, there's uh, Hidden America with Jonah Ray, which is kind of just a comedy version of those uh, travel shows uh, where he's going to real places, uh, but they have kind of made up things for him to encounter there. Like in the first episode, which takes place in Boston, there's one point where um, he uh, basically decides to do a little research into his family tree and basically finds out that one of his ancestors his most famous ancestor was like a really awful person who um not only was involved in a lot of the witch trials but seemed to knowingly uh accuse women that uh, wouldn't sleep with him of being a witch just out of revenge not even because he really thought they were witches and uh <laughs> um so he's he's constantly kind of trying to come up with excuses or to try to make like, uh, well, I'm sure it was, you know, like he was just very much of his time. And then like the historian would say, oh, no, all of his uh, contemporary peers uh, really just thought he was awful. And, <laughs> you know, so he, that kind of keeps getting worse. And then um, and that's just one piece of that whole thing. Uh, so I guess the uh, the rest of the show, though, is he's going to all different places. And that seems like a lot of fun. There's uh, Bajillion Dollar Properties, which is kind of a parody of these uh, real estate uh, uh, reality shows where they're selling exclusively to, uh, you know, very high-end houses and everything. And, uh, like, one of the bits from the first episode there is that uh, uh, they've got Adam Scott as, like, this rock and roll star who they keep encountering when he is high and he wants them to help sell his house and he's very enthusiastic to have them involved and he's very friendly and everything. And so then they'll start trying to sell the house, show the house to people and bringing people by and he'll be sober then and he won't remember anything about wanting to sell the house at all. So he keeps showing up and saying like, who are you people? Why, what are you doing in my house? Anyway, a lot of comedy stuff, obviously, it's like you have to be there, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, uh, there's Take My Wife, which is seems to be uh, it, it's it seems to be it's a scripted show, but based on the real lives of uh, Cameron Esposito and uh, and Rhea Butcher, who are uh, lesbian comics who are married to each other, and so that's where the the uh, 
the idea comes from. But it it seems to be, uh, as far as I can tell, it's it the, the show is kind of following fictional versions of themselves uh, earlier in their relationship. So that's uh, and that's good so far too. And so like, there's a lot of stuff that I find fun and want to watch more of. But they also have like full archives of Monty Python and um, uh, uh, Kids in the Hall and IT Crowd and a lot of that stuff. And so I don't know, just and okay. So the whole thing is it's four dollars a month, and that you know this whole video has now kind of just become an ad for CISO, but uh, it's not because they're not giving me anything except plenty of entertainment value for four dollars a month as far as i'm concerned um so the the point is that i've i've now tried it and i think it is absolutely worth that money and i'm going to uh you know keep subscribed to it so uh, uh that's it for now i guess and i will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes <laughs>